Hi, this is Teacher Randy. Welcome to the week 3 of our virtual tutorial in Technology and Livelihood Education 6, ICT and Entrepreneurship. In this video, we will tackle lessons 4 and 5. The purpose of this video presentation is to provide a remote learning experience for the pupils of La Vizare Central Elementary School. Now let's talk about Lesson 5, Posting and Sharing Materials on Blogs in Safe and Responsible Manner. Blog or Vlog, what's the difference between the two? According to a source, blog and vlog are different. Blogs contain written words or articles. On the other hand, the contents of vlogs are basically videos. Comment down if you have more information whether blogs and vlogs are similar or different. In this lesson, our focus is blogging and not vlogging. But I want you to emphasize that whether we are blogging or vlogging, we must always be safe and responsible users of blogs and vlog. Blog, also known as weblog, is a personal online journal that contains short entries written and updated by an individual called a blogger. It is an individualized web communication tool that allows quick and easy publishing of text, photos, voice updates, artwork or links to other websites or other blogs. Text, photos, voice updates, artwork or links are examples of materials which you can post and share on blogs. Creating a blog post may differ depending on the platform used. The following are general steps that must be followed when creating a blog post. Number 1. Go to a blogging platform website, for example, blogger.com. If you are not yet registered, create an account. Fill out all the necessary information such as username, password, email address, name among others. Choose a domain name and verify your email address. Once registered, you may now log into your account. Customize the name of your blog. Write a post. Keep it interesting yet concise. Add a title to your post. Check your grammar, spelling, and punctuation used. You may also add photo, video, music, among others. And lastly, you publish your work. If you already have registered and created an account, you can follow steps 5 to 11. Here, I'm going to show you the steps on how to create an account in a blog or in a blogger account. And, uh, pwede nyo itong sundan o sundin para makagawa din kayo ng inyong sariling account sa blogger. Okay. So, you're going to open a new tab. And then, you search dito. Blogger. There are so many platforms in blogging, pero ito yung uh, pinigili ko, ito yung ginagadid ko palagi. And then you are going to click Sign In. Then, choose an account. And then you are going uh, to choose a name for your blog. So this is the title that will be displayed at the top of your blog. So, I'm going to write Uno Mayo. And then, click Next. So, the address would be at blogspot, unumayo at blogspot.com. So, this web address is how people will find you in your blog online. Display name. So, if you can notice, we have her. Uh, if we're going to post something in your blog, dahil ang create tayo ng ating blog, you're going to post uh, to click new post. So, dito zero pa ang ating uh, article. So, lapat tayo na ipopost sa blog. So, here in this. Uh, 
yes, dito you, you can type the title of your blog. So, for example, the topic na gagawa natin ng, ng blog is ways to prevent. And then here you're going to type the text. Okay, after you type the text, you can add pictures. So, meron tayong i-insert the pictures dito. So, you're just going to click this icon. Tapos, sahanap na kayo ng, uh, ng pictures. So, for example, upload from computer. Kasi meron akong na-save doon sa desktop. Click choose files. And then, in the desktop, hahanapin natin yung picture na ating i-insert. So again, attach na natin ang ating picture. You can also do the same if you want to attach uh, video, to insert video. You're just going to click this icon and then follow the same thing. You're just going to upload video from the computer. Okay, so after writing the text and inserting the picture, and you review the spelling, the grammar, the punctuation used, babasahin mo ulit. So that uh, your article is free of any errors. For example, this one this must be in small letter and then punctuation mark. So after mo review yan, you can already click publish and then confirm. So we have just uh, successfully uploaded an article in this blog. So ito na yan. Okay, so we have just uploaded. Blogging is both a privilege and a responsibility. Here are some guidelines to follow to ensure responsible blogging while enjoying its perks. Number one, always ask permission if you are going to use files created and owned by others. That includes photos, audio, video clips, images, and etc. You must also write respectfully. You may use a conversational or friendly tone, but still be professional. Do not post anything that is offensive in nature. Write objectively. Write about the things that inspire you, but do not be too subjective. Always back up opinions and suggestions with, with facts. Choose exciting, timely, and informative topics. However, do not write just to appeal to the masses. Write about topics that are interesting well-organized, unique, and entertaining. Do not post your personal information. And do not make any personal attack on somebody. Avoid bashing people you do not like. Instead, use your blog for doing positive activities. Congratulations! We have just discussed posting and sharing materials on wikis and blogs in a safe and responsible manner. It is now time to test our understanding by doing the following activities found in the learning activity sheet. If you do not have a copy of the learning activity sheet yet, you can download it through the link found in the description of this video. Let's start with activity 1, supply the missing word. You are going to read the sentences carefully. In the box, choose the correct word that will complete the statements. Write your answers in the blanks. The words inside the box are dictionary. Blogger, Wiki, Blog, Wikipedia, and Weblog. The sentence is, A blog is a personal online journal that contains short entries written and updated by a blank. If you're going to choose the word blogger, you're going to write it in the blank. That will make the complete statement 
A blog is a personal online journal that contains short entries written and updated by a blogger. Activity 2 is titled, Be Safe and Responsible Online. Read and understand the statements. Put a check mark to the statements that describe safe and responsible use of wikis and blogs. Put an X mark to the statements which do not. Write your answers in the blank before the numbers. For example, post facts rather than fake news. If you're going to put a check mark, you're going to place it in the blank before the number. Activity 3 is about using wikis. You are going to sequence properly the steps in editing wiki contents. Number the steps from 1 to 5. Write your answers in the blank before each statement. Activity 4 is using blogs. You are going to sequence properly the steps in posting in blogs. Number the steps from 1 to 11. Write your answers in the blank before each statement. For our assessment, you are going to answer a 5-item multiple choice test. You are going to read and understand the questions. Write your answer in the blank before each item. After doing the activities, it is time to reflect on your own learning. Check the column for thumbs up if you can do the statements. Check the column for thumbs down if you think you still need to improve. For example, I can describe wikis and blogs. If you think you can already do the statement, check thumbs up column. If you think you still need to improve, check thumbs down. Congratulations for finishing this lesson. Hope you enjoy learning with me. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so that you keep yourself updated with the tutorial videos. See you in the next virtual tutorial.